Hi, my name is Mallory Jackson, and the article that I will be discussing is entitled Women with Beards and Men in Frocks, Gender Nonconformity and Modern Film. This article ex explores how gender nonconformity is portrayed in modern film. The use of gender construction, gender performance, and gender policing in film is examined. The use of homosexuality and cross-dressing is also studied. The study helps um, examine the ways gender nonconformity is depicted in modern film. Both mainstream and independent films were used and coded to better understand how gender nonconformity is presented. Co content analysis as well as thematic analysis was used to break down the presentation and use of characters who establish gender nonconformity traits. Gender is a set of socially constructed and reinforced characteristics assigned to a person at birth, usually based on their genitalia. Gender is socially constructed. Gender is often associated with sex, causing a blending of expectations and a continued binary view of both. Gender representation in film can mimic gender stereotypes of the time. It can also be a constructed version of the creator's view that influences the audience. Gender is a performance. Gender is acted out in certain ways based on the approval, disapproval, and reinforcement that society gives the actor. Gender performance in film provides the viewer a way to observe what behaviors are considered acceptable. In film, a conscious decision is made about a character's representation of gender. Everything about the character and their performance is purposely constructed to fill a need in the film. Gender performance opens doors for the audience to police gender. Boundaries and expectations are maintained throughout these performances and give the audience a way to react negatively or positively to what has been presented. Gender policing is learned. Children as well as adults police gender. Gender policing can pre be presented as negative or positive, but the presentation of gender and the reaction of certain behaviors um, that certain behaviors attract is another way that people learn um, social rules and expectations. Homosexuality and cross-dressing in films are not new concepts. The majority of gender and nonconformity characters are homosexual. The presentation of a homosexual character creates discomfort for the other characters in the film as well as the audience. Homosexual characters are now more openly being presented than they were in earlier films. Stereotypes, though, are still highly used when developing homosexual characters. Sexuality is focused on characters rather than gender or gender nonconformity. Gender nonconformity is not addressed adequately. Cross-dressing is another way that gender nonconformity is shown in film and is one of the oldest devices used in film and entertainment. Cross-dressing was used in mythology as an examination and problem, problem a problematization of gender, I apologize. Westerns used female to male cross-dressing to teach the female character meaningful lessons about their life and identity. The audience is usually aware of cross-dressing in modern film. This awareness is often used to create humor and presents the cross-dresser as dishonest. There is still an underlining, um, they're lying about their gender. The film the films used in this research were picked out of the top 100 films of the year for the years 2001 to 2011. The films selected contained gender nonconformity in which the character behaved or appeared outside of their assigned gender. Mainstream and independent films were used, but non-American films and documentaries were excluded. Overall, 36 films were chosen for the study. Coding was used to identify five different categories, the film itself, the characters, the type of gender transgression, character demographics, and the transgression's purpose in the film. This study did not have specific hypothesis, but rather it was built around creating a statistical and analytical um, base for future analysis of patterns of representation of gender nonconformity in modern film. Mainstream films depicted gender transgressions mainly in a comedic way, while independent films were more likely to explore nonconformity gender identities. Mainstream films are typically more comedic than independent films. Mainstream films are also less likely to back weightier topics such as gender nonconformity, picking films that will bring in more money instead. The majority of films used in this study were comedic. The transgressions purpose and the majority of the plots were comedic and not explorative. Um, Cross-dressing occurred most often, but more when it was used for comedy and at the expense of femininity. 
Male to female cross-dressing was most common and the most common cross-dressing was for undercover purposes. Because of the uncomfortable situations that arise when a character is cross-dressing, humor is often found. Through this humor, it makes it difficult to fully explore gender nonconformity issues. Gender was presented as static in the majority of the films. 86.2% of the characters were either presented as male or female, and only 5.2% were presented as an unclear gender, with 8.6% uh, seen as either both man and man, woman and man. When gender was presented as unclear, there was no follow-up follow explanation as to why. Doing this was mostly for comedic effect. There, were, there, there was no need to further explore the character. Comedy was used to police gender in most of the films. Gender boundaries are set and backlash happens if um, the boundaries are crossed. Gender transgressions are seen as seen funny in mainstream films and reinforce gender stereotypes. Humor and malice ways or even lighthearted humor is used to police gender in films. Romance is used to show the benefits or consequences of non-conforming. Romance is possible for characters in drag because they actually identify with their mainstream gender. When gender, when gender conformity characters try to seek romance, non-conformity characters try to seek romance. They are seen as uninterested in a romantic relationship or they're also seen as um, possibly once the character returns to the original gender that they will find someone uh, to be with. Overall, out of the 36 films in the study, the majority of gender nonconformity characters were seen in mainstream and comedic films. Androgyny was not shown. The character's sexuality was addressed more so than, in, than their actual gender nonconformity. Films in the mainstream um, produced an interest of making money, but some consideration should be taken into the account that gender issues are becoming mainstream as well. The limitation on the study was that there was no way to watch all of the films that used gender nonconformity um, unless queer focused films were used because they were not in the top 100. Although this is just a start, this research has given a base for the future um, for in-depth research. Thank you very much.